Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by again. Today I'm taking a look at a power supply. It's the FSP Hydro G 850 watt unit with 80 plus gold certification. It's semi-passive as well as fully modular, meaning all cables are removable. We are looking at a price of around 130 to 150 US dollars, depending where and when you shop. When it comes to power supplies, people quickly panic and immediately judge quality and rightfully so. A secure state and quality power delivery to your PC is something you shouldn't ignore or underestimate. That's why I for one as well as many others keep advising you to never ever save money on the wrong end on the power supply. And this gets us to the next point, FSP. Some of you surely know the manufacturer. Others however would simply avoid it, but wrongfully so. To those that question the quality of FSP units, let me tell you the really good models by brands such as Be Quiet for instance, for the most part are based on FSP platforms. So basically FSP are the ones that build units for many of their partners. Which however does not mean an experienced and reputable manufacturer doesn't offer bad products once in a while. So is this Hydro G 850 watt variant a top or a flop? The naming of the series Hydro G does suggest this might be a liquid cooled PSU, but it's luckily not the case, something I'm very happy to hear actually. There's a whole bunch of stuff included, power supply, all the cables, screws, the usual documentation, and would you look at that, stickers for those of you that would rather prefer red or green instead of that blue on the side. Well that's a gimmick and I find it very unnecessary, but then again to each their own. And speaking of gimmick, I find it amusing it says VR red on the box. Wow, I did not expect that. FSP decided to go for a single rail design here, so there is only a single plus 12 volt rail. And this is where opinions divide what's actually better, single or multi-rail. And when objectively judging from a technical point of view, long story short, usually high quality multi-rail units tend to offer slightly better protection when it comes down to OCP. The overcurrent protection most of the time is faster and more reliable. But as as a user of single rail PSUs for many many years, I can say I've never had issues as long as you go for quality, which also applies to multi-rail units. Either way, we are talking of definite 80 plus gold with a rated efficiency of up to 93%. The usual pretty much obligatory protections are all featured here and in terms of connectivity, there's a lot. I'm also happy about the fact we get a second 8 pin CPU connector in form of 4 plus 4, which could potentially help with overclocking. In the beginning I've mentioned this is a semi-passively cooled power supply. Starting at 30% load the fan will spin up and turn itself off again when you're below the 30%. 30% account for 255 watts on an 850 watt unit. I do admit I'm not really a fan of intelligent fan control and don't like relying blindly on complex fan control when it comes to PSUs. But then again FSP has lots of experience and I'm assuming they know what they're doing. But of course I did want to check on my own when exactly the fan starts kicking in. To my relief the fan doesn't simply turn on once a load of 30% or more is reached. It also does spin up in idle from time to time when the temperature of the internal components of the PSU start to increase. Furthermore, I did notice even with a 420 watt load, that's about 50%, the fan does not immediately kick in, but instead starts spinning up after 1 to 2 minutes. The fan control, I believe, is there for temperature bound. Fully modular power supplies is what we always love seeing, no wonder it makes cable management a fair bit easier. One of my favorites, however, are these flat ribbon cables all in black. The connectors are perfectly spread out on those individual cables in my opinion and the length seems to be more than good enough. What interests me most however is what kind of quality can be found on the inside of such a unit. Please be warned, opening up power supplies can be extremely dangerous. At this point I have to admit I do lack the required expertise when it comes to electrics to properly analyze a PSU, which is why I can't really talk too much about the real advanced stuff. What I can say though is that this platform by FSP is kept relatively clean but isn't necessarily the tidiest I've seen, but it's looking pretty good. 
The unit is mainly equipped with Japanese capacitors. Those have a very good reputation and are known to last a long time. On the primary side, there are two Nippon Chemican 420 volt, 330 microfarad caps rated for up to 105 degrees Celsius. On the secondary side, there are more caps by Nippon Chemican, but even ones by Rubicon, all Japanese. Those solid capacitors, on the other hand, are by Tipo, a Taiwanese manufacturer, which is no problem at all for this type of cap. Apart from that, Tipo isn't as bad as I initially thought. Now, for professional testing, I lack the needed equipment, which is why I could only do the most basic testing possible. The voltage at load is looking great, except there are a few weaknesses noticeable on the plus 3.3 volt rail, depending on the load. The efficiency, as expected with 80 plus gold, is very good. So, to return to our question from the beginning, whether this PSU can be classified as top or flop? Well, it certainly is not top top, but the Hydro G850 watt sure is impressive. 850 watts should be plenty for high-end systems, the cooling seems to be working well, therefore exceptionally quiet, fully modular, great high quality components, good pricing, actually that sounds great. My only gripe here, in my opinion, it would have been nice if FSP decided to go for a multi-rail platform as opposed to single rail. But nonetheless, I can give this PSU my gold award. And as always, thanks for watching.